guys, welcome back to our channel, my cave and team here adventures. Glad to be back here with you guys. We was out for a couple of weeks and we had a death in the family. I lose my second to the last big brother, passed away. So he was busy in the uh, wake, the cremation, the 10 day walk, the 13 day walk. So guys, you, know, you guys, anybody from Blantenburg or West Coast, Demar from the La Jealousy, will know him good. He's very popular. He spoke high car from Georgetown to Parika. He was well known. They used to call him Mali, and um, he had a name, the guy used to call him when he used to walk high car, Vasco, Vasco da Gama. So they used to call him Vasco. He used to play jukebox also for wedding house, excursion, Easter time, you go to the sea world. Because we had a jukebox, he used to play on battery. So you could play it anyway. When you used to get blackout, you could still play the jukebox. He played 12 volt battery. So he was very, very, very popular. And the West Coast, the Marais, anybody from Blantimore. He used to grow up in La Jalousy. And then when he get married, he moved to Blantimore. Right by Magdum um, Estate. If you anyone you guys familiar with Magdum Estate. Actually, he used to work for McDoom, he used to drive McDoom, Beloza, Combine, Dragline. And my father was a ranger also for McDoom Village. Then McDoom had the estate, that work estate. So he, um, so after he finished there, then he started to work higher car. And uh, so he worked for Tecla, drive Tecla, Combine, that's my mamu. So anybody from Blanteborg, La Jalousy, he's well known. You will know him, Mali, known as Vasco. This is my brother, this is the one that passed away, Mali, known as Vasco. So anybody from West Coast, La Jalousy, West Coast, or wherever, know him. He was very really popular in West Coast. So he's the one passed away, so that's why he posted the video for a short while. So we want to welcome each one of you again. Welcome back to our channel. Thank you for watching. Nice to be back with you guys again. So today, guys, I'm making a peanut butter banana shake, quick shake. So I have, you can use whole milk, but I have almond milk, peanut butter, I have honey. So overall banana here. Two tablespoons of peanut butter. And if you want it more sweeter, you can add some sugar inside or some uh, chocolate syrup, make it sweeter if you want. But I'm not using any sugar chocolate sort of. Because the banana is already sweet. The peanut butter have some sweet inside. So we you know, we add one cup of milk in here. The almond milk. Half teaspoon of cinnamon. One tablespoon of honey. Depends how sweet you want it. You can add more honey, you can add more peanut butter, how much you want to make. This is one small fig and I have, I just, this, the overripe. So instead of throw it away, we make a shake, or you can make a banana bread. Maybe in the next video, I'll make a banana bread. All right, so you have to cover this. Let's take a look in here, see if everything smooth and nice. Quick and easy, quick and easy shake, banana, peanut butter, milk shake. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Perfect. I finished the shake, so what about here? I have some, I got a bowl of green papaya here. I will curry this. But you can put crab inside, I'm not putting any crab. No, I'm, I'm making vegetarian today. No meat inside, no crab. Just a little masala, curry powder, grind seasoning, and curry it and sugar. Then I have some squash here. And I have some chicken here. That's going to squash. But this, so this is green papaya right here. All right guys, so that's the chicken I just put in there. I'll cook the chicken, separate, and have the onion here. Caramelizing, grind garlic and onion and seasoning and things like that. And here, and then I'm gonna drop the um, squash in here. I cook the squash first, then here the, the papaya. So that's the chicken. I always cook, cook the chicken separate and then pour it in the squash. You can cook the squash with the chicken together. You can also do that, but I like to cook the chicken separate. So you just drop some on um, the grind seasoning in there, the onion. Caramelize some more, then we just drop the squash in. Okay, chicken going here. And this is chicken breast, no bone, boneless. Same like you've got the broccoli and chicken. This is a nice, nice chicken with the broccoli and chicken also. Broccoli with a red bell pepper. And I always season it. 
sal, pepper, garlic, powder, onion powder. So when I add it in the squash, then I get this batty salt. And so I put, I put the squash inside, so I will cut one half pepper inside now. Okay, so I put the squash inside, and I will cut the pepper inside now. And wrap it inside the squash. Alright, so you can put this tomato inside. At one and a half, I'm not putting it to one and a half. So that's the squash, I just cut it to meat inside. So that will cook down, loose water, we got some more water into that. Check the salt back and then cook that down. Alright guys, so the chicken is ready. So we can transfer it to the squash now, that's the squash there. So that's the chicken inside here, I just put the chicken in. I've add some water inside here now, of course I have water in here. Alright, so that will cook and dry down. Alright, so for the papaya curry, you can either cook it like the um, squash or you can either curry it with masala. So this one, I'm going to curry it some masala, not too much masala, just a little. Because it's just a beer um, green, uh, green papaya. I peel it and wash it yesterday. So I decided to cook it today. So we got the curry powder here. So we're going to put like one, one and a half tablespoon of curry powder. Masala, one tablespoon of masala, you put some jeera, like half tablespoon of jeera. Then you get one more thing to go in is the turmeric, grind turmeric, half teaspoon turmeric. This is the whole spoon, that is a non stick. Non -stick. So I pour some water in the masala, mix it up. Once the onion caramelized, then I'll add the uh, grind seasoning in it. Some of the grind seasoning. Uh, so I have one tomato, I'll cut this tomato inside now. And uh, so we can put one half pepper. So we can put that in after we add the uh, papaya inside, then we add the half pepper. So we can grab some of this uh, brown garlic, season. Now guys, you guys, we was uh, pipeline West Coast. We had we had a workshop right on the public road, La Jalsi, not far from uh, Baldipchen. We had a workshop there. We used a lot of welding, cellar, patch tire. We had a ramp right by the roadside. And that's the one brother passed away. He named the workshop. He's the one who gave the workshop that name when I was small growing up. He named the workshop, we will anything except a broken heart and a break of dawn. That was the name of the workshop. He, he put a name on the workshop. All right, so we drop the papaya inside here now. The green papaya. Put the hot pepper in. I'm going to put the masala to bonje first, then put the papaya. But I mistake on putting papaya, but you still bonje, you can still have to cook down all the way, so you still bonje. I'll drop some salt, Himalayan salt. That's the papaya curry there. Let me see how the squash is going. There's the squash. The squash is cooking down there. We're gonna make a couple of sada roti. Not a roti, sada roti. Maybe about four roti. So I have the flour here. I, I don't measure the flour, it's the average flour. And I have the baking powder here. I average this, I don't measure it. 
Uh, so add a, little, uh, add a little salt in here, we'll mix this up and then mix it, knead it with some warm water. You can mix up the baking powder with the uh, flour, the salt. We have a warm water here. So little by little. So you cover this, let it rest for a couple of minutes, 10 15 minutes. By once I say take out one of the curry, then we can, we can start making the roti. Okay, right, so that's the papaya curry. I'm gonna add some water inside now. Four sides of roti. So everybody's not using roti, so I'm making rice. So I'm not making too much roti, just four sides of roti. This is squash. Squash is finished. So we'll put the stove off from this. I don't need it too much water. Papaya curry. This is curry good. Alright, so that's the squash. I just empty it in this bowl. So we can put the towel, we can start making the roti. So we put the towel for hot there. This is not a regular towel, you know, I'm used. This is the American style towel. Alright, so we can start to roll out the roti. Big. That's the size I make it, I don't make it too big. So this is the first one. Three more to go. Finish. I just turn the stove off and prepare for you. That's how it looks. Beautiful. The way I might show you, I made a mistake. I said to put the masala to bungee for but after I show it, but it's still, it's still bungee. Okay, it's cooked all the way with the curry, so it's still bungee. Looking beautiful. So you have some crab in here. Look beautiful. You can put crab, chicken, maybe some dry fish or something. And you want to make it vegetarian, no, um, no rank inside. Put a fish roll to there, so have brown and ice there. I have two more to go. That's a squash there, finish. Papaya curry finish. So you just got the roti to finish here. But I'll show you how I put it in the microwave. Usually sometimes you put it on the stove and shred it. Because I don't like to use microwave too much. But today I'm using a microwave. Put it in the microwave, we cover it. Alright, so this is done. Alright guys, so this is the last roti. See how it's fluffy, soft, they look very really nice. Alright, so that's the last roti. Alright guys, so everything is finished, squash and chicken is finished, papaya curry is finished, the roti is finished. And you guys see I make the um, peanut butter banana shake 
And uh, sorry for that I mentioned, you can put a little cube ice in there, grind it with the cube ice. If you want it cool, like in the summertime, you can put the ice, make it cool and nice, it's good for the summertime. And if you want it more sweet, you can add a little sugar, you can add a little chocolate syrup, make it more sweet, but with the banana, peanut butter, and the honey make it real, it's not too sweet, it's not too and sweet, so it's really good that you can make more if you want, more, add more banana, add more peanut butter, add more honey and make more. Alright well, guys, so thank you again for watching, thank you for being back with you guys again, thank you again for watching and if you're from La Jalsi West Coast anyway, you know my Mali, Vasco, hit me in the comments section, let me know if you, if you know him. Alright well, guys, have a blessed Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday night, be safe, thank you for watching, please leave us a like, share, comment and subscribe. Bye, see you back soon in the next adventure.